A lot of people don't know about this, but Laravel comes with a bunch of if helpers that can help you make your code even cleaner. One example is the abort, which you might use abort underscore if which will make this code a little bit more cleaner. Now, Rector for Laravel actually makes your life a little bit easier. So in this example, we have some condition, which will be true or false. And then depending on that condition, we are going to abort with 404. And check this out. I'm going to run um, vendor bin Rector to literally style my code thanks to Rector PHP for Laravel. Rector PHP for Laravel will refactor this if condition and transform this piece of code from that if condition to abort if. So we'll abort with 404 if that given condition is true. Bam, bam, boom. This is a nice one, chat. This is a nice one. You guys know me, I love the query method. I love to come here and just type query, find, because I think in general, it gives you much better auto completion. And for PHP stand, understanding a little bit static analysis is just way better. If I just do this, check this out. I'm gonna just keep this like that. Now I'm gonna run a Rector PHP without die run. I'm gonna actually make the changes on the code. Rector PHP will run. This will be refactored to use the query method. This is absolutely awesome, Chat. It's a great feature from Rector for Laravel. I absolutely love this. What's up, everyone? If you guys want me to keep this profile picture forever, please go all the way down, like this video, and subscribe my channel. And now, enjoy the video. People have been talking to me about this package with the name Driftlingly Rector Laravel, which apparently comes with Laravel specific rules. And on today's video, we are going to review this package all together. So the first thing I will do here is just go all the way down and check the readme. So it comes with Rector rules for Laravel. So the first thing it does, it converts uses of things like app config to app make config. Interesting. So they are opinionated here. Basically, instead of using the array access capacities of Laravel's container, it's saying don't use that magic thing and use instead a regular method which will resolve the config out of the container. That's interesting. Next, we have this converts most strings and array helpers into string and array facades. Ooh, interesting. So in case you don't know, Laravel comes with a bunch of global helpers, okay? View is one of them, cache is one of them, but there is more. Honestly, there is a bunch of array and string helpers that are exposed on the global namespace. And what this package does is kind of use the regular static calls to the string and array facades. It improves the usage of Laravel collections by using simpler and more efficient ways of doing things. This is interesting. Oh, okay. So if you are using Laravel collections, we'll basically just make them even more efficient just by running Rector. That's a good one. Oh, this is interesting. So this one will transform magic methods calls on eloquent models into the corresponding query builder method calls. Interesting. So this will basically call the query method all the time. If that's true, I'm going to install this package already. This one replaces facade aliases, which is a good thing, with fully qualified namespaces. Um, makes working with Laravel factories easier and more IDE friendly. Replaces abort conditions within if conditions with something like, you know, abort if or report if. That's a good one too. Migrates from eloquent legacy matter factors, the factories, which is something I don't have anymore. All right, Shed, this looks good, man. Let's install this, okay? Let's install this. Once you have your Rector PHP installation done, the only thing you have to do to start with Rector for Laravel is literally type composer require dash dash dev driftling Rector dash Laravel. So I'm gonna do that. And there is no dependencies, which is always a good thing. Typically when you install a package, you wanna be careful of, of how many dependencies that package is bringing. And we don't have a lot here, which is a good thing. Okay, here we go. So that is installed. Uh, so now we now that we have installed this package, the next step is literally having, uh, you know, Rector PHP using this package. So apparently we just have to go to our Rector PHP file. Let's do that, which is open. It's right here. And then we have to import this Laravel set provider. So let's do that. I'm going to go here, bam, import that. So that's done. And we can see it right here. The next step is come here and type with set providers and specify that class we just imported. So I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to type with set providers, and then I'm going to specify Laravel set class right here. Okay. Beautifully done. Do you want to do this at the very end? No, I think it's fine. Do it right here. Okay. What else? We have this composer based Laravel true. Okay. Let's do this. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Oh, we do. We need to do this. I think additional sets to improve the specs of your code Add this thing. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I wanna add them all. How can I do that? Can I just copy paste them? 
Let's add them all with sets. Okay, so if some condition, do we have an array random in PHP? So we can have true false, here we go. If some condition, just abort with 404. So this is something that can be replaced with abort if, by the way. Come on, Rector. Rector for Laravel, surprise me on this one, ASAP. Here we go, Chad. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Rector PHP. Here we go. Okay, what happens if I do this? I'm so curious about this one because this one is kind of my, you know, I kind of love to have the query method. I just want this to be replaced by query. Please, for the God's sake, just do it. Please, 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 please do it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, so good. All right, Chad. All right, that's it. We are going to use this package. This is very good. To find more about Laravel for Rector, just go to their documentation website, which will be in a link below. Here you have all the things that come by default, but also, also the, the sets or the rules that do not come by default. Today, the Query Builder rule doesn't come by default, so you have to add it. But also the, um, the magic if helpers a condition that are equally not there by default, okay? So this is Laravel for Rector PHP. Start using this and let me know what you think. See you guys next time. Peace out.